In this question, we'll find the iteration for the given function. Uh, iteration is basically composing a function by itself, like by the initial value. If you have been given a function, instead of the x values, you put the initial value and find it. And then for the next iteration, you find the previously found answer. It'll be very easy if you see, say for example, this problem. Now what you need is just a calculator. I will type out this function. What is it? 12x plus 8. Now here, calculate this x value as the given function. What is the given, sorry, initial value. What is the given value? It's 4 calc at 4. What is the answer? It's 56. That is the first iteration. If you look into the answers, that's the first answer. Now, what's the next iteration? The function is not changing, but the answer is 56, right? You need to calculate at 56. That's going to be the second answer. What about the next one? You calculate at whatever answer you found out that 680. Therefore, you get 8168. So basically, it's very, very simple. You can look into the options, but you need to start with the initial value and you can figure out which is the correct answer. So what do you do over here? Say, for example, here, you put this initial value. It's minus 6, isn't it? In this equation, it'll be, let me write it out, minus 9x plus 1. Calculate it at minus 6. We got 55. That's the first answer. Now calculate it at 55. That'll be the second iteration. Minus 9494. Calculate. Okay, again, I'll just put it over here directly. Minus 9 times minus 494 plus 1. You will get the answer. That's the last answer. But it's better to put in terms of variable and then calculate at different x values. So all these problems just like that, you can solve it very easily. Minus 6x plus 3. Calculated at 8. Now that's minus 45. You can see the answer. But now calculate it again at minus 45. 273 calculated at 273. It's 273. And the last answer is minus 1635. Similarly, I'll solve all the problems, but you can try them, try them out by yourself. So over here, 8x, that is, and plus 3 calculated at minus 4 and here we go it's minus 29 now calculate this at minus 29 and we have minus 229 and lastly at minus 229 that's minus 1829 now similarly over here let's clear it off minus 3x squared plus 9 calculate this at 2 minus 3 and then calculate it at minus 3, it's minus 3, it's minus 18. And lastly, calculate that at minus 18. See, it's squared, it'll become a huge number, minus 963. Sorry, it's a very small number because it's negative. And 4x squared plus 5, starting with minus 2 here. 21, calculate it again at 21. And that's 1769. And lastly, 1769. Here we go. That is the that's a huge answer. It's 12 million five hundred and seventeen thousand four hundred and forty-nine. So those are the answers. Similarly, here you can do it for any equation. Iteration is very, very simple. And this is in the electronic part. You don't need to write anything. You can write it out. That is, substitute this. 6 instead of x, solve it up. Then again, put that answer instead of x, solve it up. But rather than that, put it in the calculator, calculate it at different uh, values. That's 6. The first answer is 43. But what about the next one? 43 over here. That'll give you 3484. 4, and lastly, 3,484 3, uh, 3, gives you, it's a huge number again, 24,259,093. What about this one here? Minus, let me clear it off. Minus 0 0.25 x squared plus x plus 6. Calculate at the initial value of 8. And it should be minus 2. And then calculate it at minus 2. It is 3. Calculate it at 3. It's 6.75. Similarly, try them. It's x squared plus 2x and plus 3. Calculate it at half. You can write it as 0 0.5 or you can use this symbol. But here, it will not be a fraction. You need to press 1, then this one, and then 2. 
or you can use division or you can use 0, 0 0.5 you can use this as well it's the same thing it'll be 4.25 that's the first answer then calculate it again at 4.25 and here we go it's 29.5625 and you can calculate it, the answer. Okay, that is the easier way. Now I remember it. I remember doing it in the class, but I forgot it completely over here. What you can do is, see, first you will calculate it at 4.25, right? Sorry, you're half, isn't it? 0 0.5. That's the first answer. Then you just calculate it at answer. You will get this first answer. That's second iteration. And press over here, answer again you'll get the next iteration. You need to keep on pressing answer, answer, answer at calc because it's already saved, isn't it? Because now this is a huge value, isn't it? Just put the answer. Now here as well, 2x squared plus x plus 1. Now the initial value over here is negative half. So what I'm going to do is calculate it at minus 1 divided. You can use this symbol as well. And here we go, it's 1. Now calculate, 1 is a simple one to write, but you can write answer. That means answer is 1. So next one is 4. Now again, calculate at answer. That's 37. If there are more iterations, just continue the same procedure. See, these are the next iterations. You can see as it goes on, it becomes a huge number. That is the end of this question. I hope it is clear. If you have any doubts, please consider re-watching the video or posting your doubts in the comments. I hope you all will head on to the next video.